All right, hey guys, um, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about uh, how to set up a spiral wrap. It's not as difficult as you think. It's pretty dang simple. Um, but first, I want to give a shout out to all my patrons out there on Patreon. Without you guys, I don't know if I would still be making YouTube videos. So anyways, um, and a thanks to all my subscribers. And if you want to help support us here at uh, Gels Morocco YouTube channel, go ahead, head over to patreon.com forward slash Gels Morocco or just go ahead and subscribe um, and then share. And hopefully we get more subscribers when we hit a thousand subscribers. We might do something special maybe a custom rod or something. So anyways, um, we'll get digging right into this because I don't want it to be a super long video, but uh, you know how it goes. Um, so anyway, we'll go ahead and, and take this off. Uh, and while we're taking this off, we're going to go ahead and talk about the advantages of having a spiral or an acid wrapped rod. Now, this is nothing new to the, the the rod world basically um, doing the spiral wrap is it's been around for a really long time and the main advantage is getting your center of gravity on the rod below the rod so you're lowering the center of gravity so you have less roll every time you go to crank that reel the rod wants to twist on you because the the eyes are set on top so it wants to roll so if you put them on bottom uh, well, it's not going to have a tendency to roll on you. You're still going to get a little bit of torque, but it's not as much. Uh, the second advantage is that there's no torsional flex on the rod. So down at the tip to all the way down here, when you're fighting a fish with guides on top, mm -hmm. the rod is actually twisting in either direction from all the way down from the tip down to the base because what happens is those guides that are sitting on top are leaning e each other way. Every time the fish moves left or right, up, down, whatever, it's giving torsional flex on the rod and torsional flex is what destroys fishing rods. Now, your disadvantage, uh, people say that they lose casting distance uh, because there's more friction in the guides through transition. Uh, if there is, it's marginal. In a hundred feet casting, you might lose six inches. It's not, there's not that much friction in the guides to be able to shorten up a cast that much. So you're, you're not really losing anything doing it. Uh, the other one is uh, some of your bass fishermen don't like it because of rod tubes. Trying to put a rod in the rod tube, sometimes they catch the eyes on the side and banging stuff around so they don't like it. Um, in the bass world, you really don't see it too often. All the inshore and bass rods that we build uh, are spiral wrapped or acid wrapped because it, it just it shows off the custom rod a little bit more. Um, you're not going to see a factory rod with spiral wrapped uh, anytime soon anyways. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so starting at the tip... The very tip of the rod my first measurements is three and five eighths so I'm gonna find three and five eighths and I'm gonna mark seven and three quarter seven three quarter right so now I got my marks there um, you first have to determine after you get your guide spacing you're just gonna use a standard guide spacing for the rod length and when you use the standard spacing for the rod length, it makes it really easy to figure out uh, static testing and those things because it's not going to affect anything at this end of the rod. It's Static test is more for the tip, midsection to the tip of the rod is where it's really going to be affected. And I'll talk about a little bit more later. All right. So my first guide is going to be set up at zero degrees to the reel seat top of the rod. You have multiple ways of getting the line to the bottom of the rod. Um, I prefer on uh, medium and slow action blanks to do 
as many processes as possible to get it down there because you're going to have flex and the rod blank itself it's going to flex and you don't want the guide to be sideways and have to flex sideways it's it's better to have a flex on the axis that it was designed to flex on instead of being sideways so you never want anything sitting at the 90 degree mark um, so I wouldn't take from zero and then go to 90 instead I'm going to do 45 so I'm going to find my mark and this I'm going to be rough because I'm, I'm not exactly So that's about 45. So there's my second guide. As you can see, it's on an angle. So now I create my zero axis here, and then I set my second, my third guide, which my mark is here, my third guide on 45 degrees. Now I know, let me get this zoomed back out. Now I know that if I'm on zero axis, the space that's in between my rollers here is 45 degrees. So I can actually just take this and go, I know that's 45 right there. Center it up, that's 45. So I have a zero, 45, like 130 right math 130 and then I'm gonna put this one on 180 so as you can see I'm also able to get away with smaller guides so I'm adding a lot less weight to my rod can then compared to a standard conventional rod so that's another advantage so I can run smaller guides because I'm running them on the belly also, you can run less guides as you would with a spinning rod because you're now not having to clear the line on top of the blank. Um, that is the most basic way to set up a acid wrap or a spiral wrap. I know. Starting at zero degrees and ending up at 180, you can use any facet of rotation, but you don't want to start rotation here and end rotation down here. You want to get it within the shortest amount of time possible, but without letting the line touch the blank. The line will touch the blank if you do it too sharply. Uh, that's why I don't say don't do 0, 90, and 180, unless if it's like a kite rod, which I don't know why you would on a kite rod, but if it's not flexing, it doesn't really matter, I guess. I like 45 degree increments. Um, you can do 30 degree increments, 25, 20, 15, whatever think you think looks the best, do it. Anyway, go ahead, leave a comment, subscribe, and um, yeah, like always, do it outdoors.